Chapter 6, Words of Wisdom. At this point, the most important thing is checking your work before sending it out. We cover that from a variety of angles. You'll learn the importance of outputting and reviewing your movie on different platforms in different lighting and have professionals and lay audiences double check your work. Reality Check At some point, you'll want to check how your movie will look to viewers. Output, encode, upload, and then watch it on as many devices as possible. Review each device in different lighting situations. Yes, it's a big effort, but it's the only way to know exactly how it will look. This gives you a first-hand look at making adjustments and seeing what the viewer sees. And obviously, how the audience views it is what counts. Compare the results to the original so you can learn to estimate making adjustments. Make sure the final script is final. Double check everything, especially the text. Then have someone else double check what you double checked. You absolutely positively want to have that final script proofread and fact checked before your final narration or translation. Trust me, you can't imagine how long just changing one word can take. Let me give you an example. The documentary Venice Souvenir was finished. The editing, the outputting, and encoding. I'm watching the final version, and within the first few minutes during the boardwalk story, I narrate, on the other side of the boardwalk, you can rent space and sell your artwork. I realize that you don't rent the space. It's available for free. I set up the microphone, narrate, import, adjust, and replace that one line. Then take an hour to output the entire documentary, 10 hours to re-encode it, and three more hours to upload it. The moral of the story, double check early, double check often. Four eyes are better than two. Fixing mistakes after all the encoding has been done can literally double and triple your post-production time. Likewise, fixing mistakes before encoding can avoid time-consuming do-overs. The sooner you find and correct mistakes, the less time you'll be wasting. Get into the habit of double-checking all your work at every stage. Nowhere is this more important than in the final review before sending it out. However, even before that, you might become stale. And because you know your material so well, you'll be the last one to see the faults. Consider hiring an outside editor to watch your movie and provide notes and comments. Have them watch for continuity. Can they follow the storyline easily? Do they get a sense that something is missing anywhere? Helpful comments can include, it needs a close-up here. It needs an establishing shot there. Shorten this scene. Cut down this speaker. Consider them a consultant. They make the suggestions and you do the work. The more you edit, the better you'll become. Test screening. So, the film is done. You've double and triple checked everything. You've even hired a professional editor to review your work and made the adjustments. Everything is perfect. Don't send it out just yet. Big movie companies spend a lot of money on test screenings. That means they show audiences the film and get feedback and then make more adjustments. You can do the same cheaply. Have a pre-release party and show your movie. While playing, notice if anybody leaves, falls asleep, or checks their email. The movie ends. Everyone wants you to succeed. They're there to help. Viewer comments go like, Mmm, you can eliminate that story about the tiles on the wall. It was kind of boring. Mmm, I didn't get the part about the cameraman. It, it wasn't funny. Mmm, the drum circle was too long. After a minute, I got it and was ready to move on. Conclusion. There you have it. A thoroughly double-checked movie, and it still needs changes. More editing outputting, encoding, and uploading. So, mull it over. If you agree with the audience, then make the changes. Keep in mind, no film is ever finished. However, at some point, enough is enough. 
life has to move on, and it's time to start telling your story. One thing for sure is, after watching your movie, if the audience wants to see more, that's good. If they wish they had seen less, that's bad. And if you have to wake them up, keep your day job, or find a different audience.